about this risk management is important that affect our profitability, right? And all trainers out there will definitely, you know, taught their students how to, you know, have that uh, risk management strategy be, be built in every time that we train. But still, it seems like it doesn't work when we start training, applying the strategies, you know, and then um, even applying the risk management method. Do we have some insights that why most traders fear in terms of this risk management part, even though they know the technique to set aside how to manage the risk for even every trade or the whole basket of trades. So what's your thoughts about this? Alright, um, personally I feel that uh, for traders, when you when you decide to trade itself, right, uh, most of the time you look into uh, how much profit you want to make. Yes. Right. You look into oh this particular trade that I go inside, you know, uh, what kind of returns that you actually want to make. But very often uh, we forgotten about uh, protecting the losses, right? Mm. Or be be conscious on the losses itself. Here, yeah. we always look towards the, the profitability. Yeah. So we, we did not look towards you know what kind of uh, potential losses that we can have. So this is where then the risk management strategy comes in. Indeed, what you say is right. A lot of trainers. Um, advocate and emphasize a lot and the importance of risk management mm. right um, every single trade you need to put a stop loss or you when you enter a trade you want to make sure that your trade has a risk reward ratio of one to three one to two or some some of some of the strategies be like uh, okay you shouldn't be trading like uh, more than uh, 10 times leveraging or not more than 20 times leveraging some even look towards like uh, instead of trading many different pairs, you only trade focus on one particular pair. So there are all kinds of ways to look into a risk management when we are buying a trade. But then again, at the end of the day, uh, how many of the traders really apply that, and how many of the traders really um, successfully prevent the pitfall of? blowing up your account yeah. despite having known that it is important to have risk management despite having known that it is important that you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be over trading you don't even do um, keep overnight all this but yet we are seeing traders account being burned throughout or losing money getting themselves discouraged so is the risk management strategy not right? No. Or is the risk management, is it not important? No. It is still important to have a risk management strategy because that gives us a parameter of uh, doing certain things correctly. But what's more important is still the person and that's you. That's me, ourselves. When we get to learn a particular risk management strategy or a risk management plan, the important part of it lies towards the application of it. Not just only the knowledge why, but it's the mm. application of it. Yeah. And very often we find it very difficult for us to apply. Why? Again, because <laughs> we are all very emotional as people. Mm. Right? Uh, almost 80% of our trading decisions lies on the movements of the price action. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're at the right direction, our greed comes in. Mm. If you're at the wrong direction, our fear comes in. Mm. Greed and fear will cause us to make the next step, to make the next decision. What is the, make, what is the next step, the next decision? For greed, you're supposed to take a profit. Mm. But your decision is, I want more. Yes. Typical. Right? For fear, you fear of losing, right? And the trade really goes against you already. But because of the fear, you fear that if you cut loss right now, market goes back up. Mm. <laughs> and these are all very typical yeah. experiences that we have. But again, a risk management strategy is still needed, right? So the success of a risk management strategy really depends and rely upon yourself, your personality. 
then you're gonna ask yourself already, are you really a disciplined person? Yeah. Or are you a person who is very emotional? Right? It's like a battle between the angel and the devil every time, like, you know, yeah. the, the greed and the fear, yeah. decision came about. Yes. So then, then how do we curb this, you know? Um, yeah. So I, I, I want to stress back again here is that for us to overcome this, okay, mm -hmm. um, we need to create the right habit. And how can you get started off with the right habit? You get started off with the right habit, but if you can't do it alone, you do it together. Yes, yes. Correct. You do it together in the community. Mm. Right, where everybody learn not only just to be responsible for ourselves, but also learn to be responsible within a group. Yes, okay, right? okay. And learn to be accountable not just for ourselves, yeah. but learn to be accountable within a group. And this is where we have our 30 days scholarship program, mm. where we train our members, our students to come together to be accountable not just only for themselves but to be accountable as a group because why? Collectively, mm -hmm. each and every one of us has a goal. Yes, agree. For the 30 days of tra trading time, we all have a goal. A goal of achieving a 10%, 20%, 50% returns individually. Right, that's an individual goal. But such an individual goals can be achieved collectively by forming a community whereby People are accountable, I'm accountable to your goals, you're accountable to my goals, I help you to succeed and you help me to succeed. And this is where, when we start to apply the trading strategy, we start to apply the risk management plan, we even have trade journal, mm. right? Uh, we want our students to record trade journal, because by recording your trading journal, you get to know what you do right and what you do wrong. And this is how you can improve yourself.